Hi, welcome back and my name is Praveen Balan. And today on the same series, I'm going to talk about enrollment restrictions in Intune. As an Intune administrator, you can create and manage enrollment restrictions in type of OAS, the number of devices that a user can enroll and all those settings. And again, this is not a security feature. This is a best effort based feature so that we can have a certain control when the users are enrolling their uh, devices into Microsoft Endpoint Manager or Intune. If you like such videos, as I always mention that please do not forget to subscribe the channel and click on the reminder button so that you get notified on the new videos when I release them. And it is also worth that you watch the other videos on the Intune series which is given in the description of this video and also coming as a suggestion. Under policy, we have a section called enrollment restriction. If you look at the first section, it is talking about device type restriction and the second section is about li device limit restriction. Let's start with the device type restrictions. And if you look at the current policy, the default policy, you know that it is available for all users and all type of platforms are allowed in this setting. So which means any user who do not have a policy assigned to the restriction policy applied this policy will get applied and it is not a good idea that we have a full privilege available to this policy. What we can do, we can actually modify this policy to ensure that we only allow the limited number of OS type to be enrolled by all users and then we can create other policy in case if you want to have a flexible policy applied for a certain set of users. So I'm going to block Mac OS as well as the Android device administrator just for an example and saving the settings. So with the settings, users, all users are allowed to enroll only Windows, Android and iOS. So there are two versions or Mac OS as well as the Android device administrator are blocked. And now let's take a look at the number of devices uh, that a person can enroll. By default it is set as 5 and if you want to have a different um, limit for a certain group of users, I usually support or I usually suggest to create another policy and assign that new policy with a higher limit to a set of users so that by default people will have 5 and whoever is part of the new policy, they will have a different limit. I'm creating two different limits. One is with 10 devices for the VIP and the other one is for the another set of users who can enroll up to 7 devices. Now let's create a device type restriction for a VIP. So currently on the default policy, we're not allowing certain type of devices, but in this policy, we are allowing the Mac OS, but we are planning to set a restriction on the Windows enrollment with a certain version and above. So which means only a certain version and above. In this case, I this is set for one of the latest version in Windows 10. And if you are trying to enroll any Windows 10 device which are older than the current version that we put it in the minimum requirement, the enrollment process will not be kicked in. And I'm going to assign it to a VIP users. Uh, the limit policy is pretty straightforward and I don't think we need to have any testing done for that because you all know that if it is set for 5, they will not be able to enroll the 6th device unless they delete one of the devices which are already enrolled. The, the other type of restriction, the device type restriction, we are going to quickly test for Android as well as for Windows. Let us start with Windows. Let's try to enroll a Windows 10 device which is older than the limit restriction that we set. So I should not be able to enroll an old version of Windows 10 device which I'm going to try enrolling it now. So let me also disable the Android enrollment as well so that we know that the Android enrollment is also blocked for my user because my user is part of the VIP user group. So let's start enrolling a Windows 10 device. If you look at the Windows 10 OS, which is slight, you know, bit older, it's 1903. 
if you look at the level that we have set there is like 19043 is the version and wherein the current device that I am trying to enroll is 19361362.3. So if I try to connect, it will allow me to enter the username and password. And then during the enrollment process, it should ideally throw an error saying an unknown error occurred or some similar other error codes. Let's wait. I'm just fast forwarding it. It takes a bit longer. So you can see that there's an error. Something went wrong. Your account was not set up to do the enrollment and the other, you know, other ad additional information, whatever it is. So let's go back to the policy and remove the restrictions for the version. So once we remove the restriction for the version and if we save it, then we will try again and see if that error goes or not. I'm going to save the policy after modifying the limit restrictions for Windows. So these changes are pretty faster. It usually takes like within five minutes. So now you can see that the enrollment, you know, completed pretty easily. So if you go back to the Azure AD and if you refresh it, you can see the new device which is connected and it is enrolled with the Intune MDM. So now let's try an Android device. It should just finish the sign in process, but it will not kick in the enrollment. If you try to check the policy or anything, it will always give you an error because this device is not enrolled with Intune platform because we blocked it. Now let's allow the enrollment for Android enterprise work profile and try to enroll it again. So I mentioned it is these changes are very fast. It should get effect immediately. So click on sign in again. Give the username and password. It should kick in the enrollment process. Again, I'm not going to enroll and I'm going, I'm not going to complete the enrollment. This will complete fine. We already spoke about the Android enrollment in detail in one of the previous videos, not only Android, you know, iOS, Android and Windows device enrollment uh, configuration. So you can go ahead and watch them. It's coming as a suggestion for you to easily pick them. So the enrollment restriction in Intune is a very useful feature which can be used in order to control the enrollment in a better manner. As we already spoke, we can use it for the number of devices which can be enrolled, the type of devices, whether it is Android, Windows, Mac OS or iOS, all these versions of device, which versions can be enrolled so that your Intune will be much more cleaner and healthy. If you like the video, do not forget to click on the like button, share the video and also if you like to receive updates from my channel on similar videos in the future, do not forget to click on the subscriber button and also click on the reminder button. Now it is time for us to wind up. This is Praveen Balan signing off today and we'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, bye.